Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Wayfinder, I want to go over how you can farm every single Wayfinder and weapon in the game. If you didn't know, it will tell you and do a little tutorial on how to farm things once you get into the game. Omen is where you farm and summon, I should say, summon, Wayfinders, whereas you can buy weapons over in the skylight over here, as well as craft weapons. There's no crafting time or anything like that, so keep that in mind. So, talk to Omen, summon Wayfinder. I've already unlocked Venomous and I started with this. Awesome, great. Double click onto a Wayfinder and this is where you're gonna see their crafting. You need to summon their calling, buy that, build it only with gold, right? Required materials for his calling, gold, simple. But for Kairos, you then have the memory of Kairos's secret, the memory of Kairos's sight, as well as the memory of Kairos's sorcery. And you might notice the unique item is vestige of Kairos's sorcery, sight, and secrets. Everything else is just regular general build materials you can find once you start progressing more through the game and just kill enemies as well as farm lost zones, right? Memory fragments. This is all regular resources other than the vestige of Kairos's sight, secrets, and sorcery. And I actually have a little thing set up and I think created by the Wayfinder community managers going over all locations or Dustbringer. I saw this thrown in the Discord so many times before and I'm not 100% sure who actually created this, but thank you to whoever did. I'm going to assume Duskbringer. So for Silo, the precision is by fighting Riven. The speed is the hand, the agent hand, argent hand, uh, and cunning is trial of lingering light. So if we go to your boy Silo, we can see speed, cunning, and precision, right? And then you can uh, just match it up with the little thing here. Trial of Lingering Light for his cunning part, the Argent Hand for his speed part, and Riven for the precision part. You will take time to unlock these later on. For Wingrave, you can see the Faith, or sorry, the First to get his Faith, Courage to get the Blood Spawn, as well as Prowess to get the Argent Hand, and you have Nis, Will, Broodmother Cyrilith, Steel, Knight's Maw, and then Shadow, Commander Creed, Storm, Dread Legion, Might, Kohler the Beastmaster, Glory, Grand Deceiver. And then for Kairos, you have Sorcery, Dread Legion, Slight, Sight, Kohler the Beastmaster, and Secrets, Tor Storm Twins. So I believe these are all taken for, um, from the early access, which I had like non-NDA, NDA access to. So shout out to whoever set that up. I might make a cleaner one eventually but we will see. But that's how those, all the characters right now are acquired. Venomous, I think, can only be acquired from the reward tower or by purchasing like the game, right? So the reward tower. Purchase early access, you get Venomous, right? So I don't think she actually has a farm location as of yet, okay? For the weapons, Everything also has one specific essence drop location. Again, this might have been taken from the early access, but I'm not 100%, so if things change, things change, right? Tempest, Trial of Lingering Light, right? The first for the Arc Storm, Longshot, Grand Deceiver, Morris. The Hell Swarm is Pyre's Wraith. Ransom is Broodmother Cyrus. And like certain ones like Vanguard, Ransom, right? Certain weapons you can just buy off at the base enemies. So we'll talk about those ones later. Like the Vanguard, the Typhoon, and the Slicer and Dicer, you can just buy. So you might be able to ignore those. And then Titan Banes, Pyro's Wrath, right? Kolar the Beastmaster, Dread Legion. The First, Knight's Maw, Riven, Storm Twins, Argent Hand, Commander Creed, Trial of Lingering Light, The First, Grandmaster Maris, Pyre's Wrath, Blood, or sorry, Broodmother, Cyrileth. So these are all the general essence drop locations if they are still properly set intact. But you can actually go and build your weapons to take a look and double check where to get all the resources. So you can see that the weaponsmith is all the way over there. So you can actually just run over and we'll quickly take a look to see how you can actually build it. Because the nice thing about the weapons is the game tells you where you can farm all of the weapon pieces, opposed to the Wayfinder ones where it doesn't really tell you where you can farm every Wayfinder item. 
But if you go over to the weapons, the Arsenal Master right here, buy weapons, here you can buy the Vanguard Ransom Typhoon Slicer and Dicer. Each is 4,500. I believe these are all the starting weapons, so it makes sense. And then you go to Weapon Crafting, and this is where you can craft and create every single weapon in the game, possibly to my knowledge at the moment. Each weapon, pretty simply, you have to build the weapon. You need to get the shell form spirit, essentially just the three parts to building the weapon, as well as, oh, I have to get the Grim Harvest Essence. You can click F to click onto ingredients details. It tells you where to farm stuff. One of the four parts, right? One of the four parts. The essence you can farm by defeating the Storm Twins. But everything else, it doesn't quite tell you, right? So you can know instantly by the essence, click onto it, Storm Twins. You don't need the graphic I showed you before. And then that's pretty simple. You can know, okay, this item, I can click F onto it for the Grim Harvest Shell. I can click onto the Storm Twins Ire. I can see, oh, Defeat the Reaver Twins to get the Storm Twin Ire. Okay, cool. So you need to defeat uh, Reaver Twins to get that item. Yeah, there's no wait time for crafting. Nicer than Warframe in that regards. I can see like, oh, what's this Radiant Octatron? Click F to get into ingredients. Take a look. Used to craft relics and consumables. Found by defeating the first. So for every single weapon, you can hit F and you can go into it to see exactly what you need to build. Which honestly makes weapon building a billion times easier because you're like, okay, I need the Grim Harvest. Hit F, I need to get all this. Okay, first I'll try to farm up the Grim Harvest Essence. So first I'll try farming the Storm Twins until I have three of those. Then you're like, okay, I need the Grim Harvest Spirit. Go to Grim Harvest Spirit, hit F. You're like, okay, I need these and I need to go fight the Reaver Twins. Okay, sick, awesome, right? Let's see, I want my Colossus. This is such a big, sweet weapon, right? Where do I get any of this, right? Click on that. Oh, I need to fight and defeat Kolar the Beastmaster. Awesome, sick, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Then for this, like, oh, okay, for the Master's Call, defeating the Beastmaster, makes sense, makes sense. Colossus form, ooh, the Grand Deceiver, right? So for that, I'll have to fight the Grand Deceiver as well because weapon building parts drop from multiple enemies and a couple bosses at a time, it seems. They try to have the main boss, right? The Beastmaster, you get the essence, you get the Master's Call for that, Master's Call for that, and then there's a secondary boss you fight for that. And that tends to be like this uh, Colossus form, the form item, and that one's like Grand Deceiver, I think it's the same with all of them, right? The Harvest Shell and the Spirit, same farm as the Grim Harvest Essence, but the form is always a different enemy, okay? Yes, reminder, this is all early access. This is all like first week into the game. Anything could change around. Farming locations could change. But for now, everything mentioned is where you farm everything. So if you want to know where to farm Nightshade, hit F, Essence, boom. Go fight the Gloom. Summon Nightshade from the Gloom. Okay. Maybe found by defeating Wormwood. Sweet. Go kill Wormwood to get the Optic Cortex as well as the Optic Cortex for that. Probably fight Wormwood, Legion. Oh no, this one's to defeating Legion, the Legion, interesting. And the form itself, oh, you have to defeat Beastmaster. So it 100% does help going into each weapon, seeing what you very specifically need to build, right? Let's see, Talon of Pyre, defeat that, sweet. What do we need for this? Uh, Talon of Pyre as well, awesome. The form, this is gonna be the different one, Legion, oh. So go to each individual weapon, hit F, hit view ingredients, and then take a look. We've already essentially gone over where to farm each one, but let's just go top to bottom, right? Tooth Claw, what do you need? Argent Hand, right? What do we need here? The Argent Hand, sweet, Argent Hand. What do we need for this one? Knight's Maw, okay, so for Radiant Dawn, what will we need? Archon Commander, right? For the shell, it'll be the Archon Commander. The form, though, will be Trial of Lingering Light. Not bad, not bad. Colossus, pretty simple. You want to go Konar the Beastmaster, Beastmaster for the Master's Call, and then the Grand Irisite is, of course, again, Grand Deceiver. Titan's Bane, I'm excited and want to build this one. I got to go fight the... 
Titan, okay, one of the four required to assemble Titans. Oh, this one doesn't actually say who to farm it from. I got trolled. This one doesn't actually say. Interesting, they might actually be forgetting that. Uh, it looks like Talon of Pyre is a good farm, as well as, yeah, probably Talon of Pyre to get the drops from this one. It would make sense because it is a fire one. So, since these ones are Talon of Pyre, I would say it's maybe a safe bet to try to farm the essence from the Talon of Pyre as well. The Epitaph, Dread Legion, as well as, let's see, Optic Core, that's from Legion, right? Yeah. And then Master's Call from Beastmaster, so Beastmaster for that one. For Venom, let's see, Defeating Night Maw. Oh, actually, did it say, and I'm just blind? Uh, I could be for the Titan Bane. Maybe I am. No, no, it didn't say where to farm it. Okay, so I'm just going crazy a little bit. So yeah, each thing, you just go look. Knight's Maw, okay. You take a look. Knight's Maw, take a look. F, Archon Commander. And then you'll see they start repeating, because it's like there's only so many enemies, right? Uh, oh, it doesn't say for the Knight's Edge, but you can see here. Okay, you'd want to fight Riven. You'd want to fight for this one, Argent Hand. And then you'll probably get the materials. For the Harvest Moon, let's see, the first, okay, so you want to fight the first, you want to fight the first, for the form, you'll want to fight Riven, for the Tempest, uh, Trial of Lingering Light, nice, nice, Shell is at Trial of Lingering Light, form is at, oh, the Blood Spawn, okay, okay, not bad, we have now the Arc Stone, you can get the first to get that, the first, the first, and then Riven, the long shot, right? Deceiver, Grand Deceiver Maris, and then Storm Twin Ire, Grand Ear Sight, Grand Ear Sight, so that would be the uh, t -t Grand Deceiver, as well as Storm Twin Ire's Reaver Twins. Then for Hell Swarm, get Talon of Pyre, right? And then for the other ones. Yeah, Pyre's Torch, Pyre's Torch, as well as ba -ba -ba -ba, Legion. So, yeah, finally, Nightshade, Wormwood, 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 Master Call, so Beastmaster. You cannot farm Heroic Kairos. The only way to get Heroic Kairos is to buy the Wayfinder Founders Pack Exalted Pack. The only way to get it, okay? You cannot ever farm Kairos Heroic in-game. You will only ever be able to purchase Founders Pack Exalted Heroic Kairos. I believe for the first early access six months, approximately. So if you don't buy it during the early access, you will never be able to get it. So yeah, one day we will be able to awaken them, yes. But that update isn't in the game yet, so we have no awakening in the game yet to our knowledge, so we'll have to wait and see. Either way, as of right now, that should be all of the locations in which you farm the Wayfinders and weapons, so hey, not too bad, not too bad. You can always go to the Wayfinder, like Wiki, Wikizet, to check to see if all the locations ever end up changing, or if you need to double check, all generally good, so would recommend 10 out of 10, feels good man. So yeah, just take a look, summon them all up, and you should be good to go, because you can click onto each one of them. It's just kind of funny that you can't inspect the materials here, but I have a feeling that's a small quality of life change, so once people realize that, they'll probably hit F to inspect, and then you can check out where you can get the Vestige of Wingrave's prowess, but there might be a certain place where you can check. Oh, by the way as well, for each single character there is a cutscene and you can view their lore by hitting view memory. So you can hit a small little cutscene looking at every single character's lore and yeah, I might upload that as a little video as well. So sub like, do a backflip, all that jazz. Uh, I will do more random Wayfinder stuff as I feel like it and have time. Thank you, sub, and I will see you next time. Cheers.